This is Spy School, a novel by Stuart Gibbs and definitely one of my favorite series. You could even say that I would call it a masterpiece. This book is about a normal 12-year-old boy that goes to a normal school and also happens to be a mathematics genius having level 16 math skills and incredibly innate ability to relate it to anything about math and numbers. That's why, on one fateful day, he gets randomly recruited to join a science school. But that's what people on the outside think. It's only the tip of the iceberg. It's only scratching the surface. And it's actually a super secret spy school. He gets visited by one of the CIA's top spies, Alexander Hale, descendant of the Revolutionary War hero, Nathan Hale. Once Agent Hale and Ben set off on their journey, before checking with Ben's parents to make sure that he's allowed to go to the science school, of course, they set off on Alexander's car. And as soon as they get there, they realize that the school is actually under attack, and Ben runs into the building screaming, looking for anyone that can help him. And he does find someone, and also immediately falls in love with her. That person is Eric Hale, Alexander Hale's daughter, the most talented agent in training at spy school. This makes sense, because she's basically been training since she was in diapers, so it'd be kind of sad if she wasn't the best. Erica leads Ben in the right direction and tells him to run up to the office and alert the heads of school. Ben runs the entire way screaming as gunfire comes from behind him, and eventually makes it to the office, only to find out that the whole thing was an exam and he um, basically failed. Oops. Even more happens that's potentially even more th terrifying and life-threatening than this, including Ben getting attacked by assassins, getting locked in middle blocks, insulting the principal and a lot of other stuff. I really love this series because it's really just a nice read. You don't really have to think about anything, and it's just a fun, action-packed series. I've been reading this series since third grade, and so it like, really made me fall in love with reading. Really, It just pulls you away from the real world and plops you in Ben's world. I've also read the entire series, like 11 books, at least three times, and the first eight books at least five times. This series is great. You should totally read it.